When I think of my favorite cheat meals, I think of three places. The first is In-N-Out Burger. Calorie dense burgers with cheesy animal style oh, fries. Oh, animal fries are seeking. KFC has always been a favorite too. In fact, one time I ordered the entire menu. Everything? Yeah, just one of everything, please. And lastly, you just can't beat a good burger from Macca's. Now imagine if you could eat these every day and still burn fat. Well, after today you can, because I'm gonna recreate all of my favorite cheat meals, but make them healthy and low calorie so they fit in with your daily diet. Now let's start the shops and see just how we're gonna do this. Treat. I don't think this is anywhere else other than Australia, but we have Spud Light, 25% less carbs. This is gonna be our French fries for today's video. Heaven, so good, this is a dieting staple. Um, but if you don't have them, just have normal potatoes and unfortunately have a little bit less. This cheese melts way better than usual, like, tasty cheese. I swear it's completely processed and like utterly fake, but it melts really nice and that'll give our burgers a bit more of like a traditional kind of authentic burger taste. Now for our KFC, we're gonna use just tenderloins, the leanest part of the chicken other than the breast. They usually will use legs and thighs, obviously. You can do that, it'll be nicer, it'll be way nicer, but we're gonna go very lean today, so tens as it is. So mints, lean mints obviously, at least 90% lean is great. You can get 95. But I'm kind of doing a trade-off because grass-fed is only 90, so I'm just going to get the grass-fed. It's good stuff. More Amigas. As far as pickles go, suit yourself. Just try not to get the ones loaded with sugar. Um, I actually prefer these little, these little gherkins, these little cucumbers. <laughs> I prefer these. Bit of crunch, um, but treat yourself. Chicken sole. This is probably, again, processed as hell, but this is going to make our chips taste like KFC chips today. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be making three meals. We're gonna be pretty much copying fast food as best as we can, if you're my favorites, but making them as low calorie and healthy as possible. So pretty much what we're gonna do is the first one is gonna be like an In-N-Out style. In-N-Out is one of my favorite burgers when I'm in the States. If you guys haven't had them, they're just great. They're just fresh, they're nice. Speaking of which, I just forgot tomatoes. Fuck! Anyway, um, that's fine. We'll, do, <laughs> we'll get to that later. The next one is gonna be a KFC copycat meal with chicken salt fries. And then the last one is gonna be pretty much like a McDonald's meal, but we're just changing it and transfiguring it into be a cheeseburger bowl, which is one of my favorite meals when I'm dieting. So that's actually quite low calorie um, and just tastes like heaven. So annoyingly, we have to use the air fryer a lot for this video. So if you guys don't have one at home, I suggest you pause the video, go and buy one, or just use your oven, that's also fine. Um, but in our case, it is annoying because we're gonna have to wait a little bit. So, um, and before we get into this video, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Cuts as well. Harvey, do you like my t-shirt? Yeah. Thanks. If you guys want to get the same t-shirt, use uh, Perna below at Cuts. It's just the best clothes, best minimalist additions to the wardrobe, as we like to say. Um, so you guys can get a 15% discount with my link as well. Now, uh, this is arguably the best contraption you guys will see all day. Ready? You getting this? Yes. Can you see? Yes. Stick it on. Potato, on. Now get this. You can use your hand and just punch it through but you, your fingers might turn into french fries. So just like this, ready? Sometimes I have to give it a couple. And bang. Chippy, great. Just so good. So we are using charisma fries, uh, potatoes, sorry. So 25% less carbs. These are about, I think, are they 8% carbs? Yes, 8.9, 9% carbs which is just a godsend. So I'm gonna parboil these. When you're making potatoes, fries, or any, any kind like that, you wanna just boil them for a little bit, maybe five, 10 minutes, just enough to slightly cook them, and then you air fry them. For the chicken, I did Google the KFC leaked recipe. I've actually made a video on it before um, where I deep fry the chicken, but this is gonna be a challenge because I haven't, I haven't air fried it yet, so I hope it works out well. But pretty much there are 11 secret herbs and spices all listed here, uh, except we're not using MSG because I think that's like a meat tenderizer and I think it's good for the stomach. First off, start with, you guessed it, a little bit of salt. One teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of salt, three, four, five, six, seven, 17, 18, 20,000 teaspoons of salt. Okay, so it's pretty much all nearly equal ratios of all this stuff. 
So we're just gonna pop all of these in here. Celery salt, didn't even know that was a thing. And we're cooking with it. So I definitely recognize white pepper in KFC. I can't see them using ginger. And with all of the herbs and spices, that's what we're left with. This. All right, now for the chicken. <laughs> can't use a spoon as a knife, guys. You can't use a spoon as a knife. Um, so for this, we're gonna air fry the chicken. If you don't have an air fryer, just use your oven. It's perfectly fine. Um, and I haven't done this before, but it says put the chicken in water. So for the first time, we're washing our chicken. There you go. Uh, let's just do, do four. Four's a good amount. So obviously the, that's gonna make it stick to, oh, to this sludge. If you're using chicken thighs, way better just for the, the crispy skin, if you want that. But I hope this works, because if it does, it's great. But the water's doing the same thing. Cool. Give this a spray. And we're gonna air fry this for around 13 minutes. Now, we're gonna get started on our beef. So, I'm only gonna use one pack today, because I'm not gonna make too much. And what we're gonna do is half of this, 250 grams, we are dedicating to our burgers, and then 250 grams to our burger bowl. So I'll leave half of that just in there. Don't move. Um, and for this, the best, I found the best way to make patties is not to go crazy and compress it and mince it, just very lightly. Mix it about, just like this. <laughs> Turn it to Jamie Oliver. And then, flatten it out. I like mine very flat. I find it gets, it cooks better and is a bit crispy. So just loosely put them together. With burgers, simple is best. Don't go putting eggs and <laughs> milk and breadcrumbs into them. Making fucking rissoles in it. We're just keeping it beef. That's what makes really good burgers good. So there, we're gonna assault it. <clears throat> With Bit yourself. Because my puns today are not good. Heavy on salt. On the other side. I like to make these thin as well because they're lean. They are lean. It is lean beef. If it wasn't, it doesn't really matter because you can undercook it, it'll be really juicy. But you're in danger of having a dry patty when it's lean. So I like to keep a better eye on it when I'm cooking. Let's have a look at these potatoes. They're not cooked yet but they're just par cooked. So we're gonna get these off, drain them, and try and dry them out as much as possible. Strain it, pop it back in, back in the heat. That'll help kind of steam it and dry it out a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna use this. That's meant to be a wok induction, but I'm using it as a potato holder for today. Chicken is done, and that actually looks really good. I'm just gonna sit that down here. Now I've just cooked the rest of that beef mince, so we'll put that aside. Now for these potatoes, because these will take the longest. Pop them in the air fryer. And I'm just gonna spray these with oil, and then douse them in salt. Oh no, you're crying. <clears throat> did you just have a mental breakdown? I did. It wasn't the onions? <laughs> I said, you didn't chop it right, god damn it. Oh, he actually did good this time. Didn't need to cry. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> Thank you. Welcome. You gotta treat your kitchen hands with the utmost discipline. Otherwise, they just, they won't chop your onions right. Um, so these are good to go, straight in the air fryer. 20 minutes on 200 should do it, but we'll just check. So here, we've got our cooked beef. Now, where are my fake cheese? These fake cheese slices, this has three grams of protein and two grams of fat and no carbs. So the macro is very good. And this is gonna give a lot of the cheesiness, cheeseburgery feels. 
So just chuck it in that. That should melt it. Was... I feel like that should do it. Very simple. Now, I actually made this recipe up years ago when I was dieting because it just, I was craving cheeseburgers and burgers. And I thought, what the hell makes a burger? And it's not really the bread I feel that makes a burger. It's the combination of these, these kind of ingredients, especially when you have mustard, pickles, beef, cheese. It honestly tastes exactly like a burger. So this is gonna be our salad dressing for today. If you want, you can put a bit of relish in there, but I'm just gonna keep it very simple bare bones. Some reduced sugar uh, sauce. Some American mustard. Mustard is great, very low calorie. Go for your life if you love mustard. And the only other thing we're pretty much adding to this is some pickles. Pickles, get a bit of pickle juice in there if you like. That, I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on first. Now some of you might be either thinking, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, or you might be thinking, holy shit, that's genius. I feel like it's, it's a divider, this one. But right, let's see how this goes. It's just melting. Yeah, it's pretty much melting enough. Give it a bit of a stir. I like bits of chunks of cheese, but it's up to you. Bit of sauce. That is honestly pretty much it. mix this is where it could just ruin the aesthetic and look of it but if you think about the calories and macros in this it's pretty much only coming from the beef that little slice of cheese and whatever sauce you add to it which is not much at all you could put a bit of mayo in this if you wanted but I'm gonna make this as lean as I can and easy you want to taste this before you you eat it. Otherwise, you would have eaten it without actually tasting it. Are they little pickles? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cute. I know. I just put them all in. Mmm. See, it's great. It might not look good, but it tastes so good. It tastes just that like a cheeseburger. Taste like a burger. Yeah, I know. You don't need bread. Mm -mm. You happy with it? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll leave this with you. You can take it away. That's so, good. burger bowl is gone. <laughs> so now to make this sauce for our in and out style meal with the animal fries and stuff. I did this the other day and it just seemed to work. I just thought it was, I thought it was the best thing ever, honestly. Um, a whole bunch of relish of your choice. This one is the best one I've found. And I can't, if you guys are in Australia, see if you can find this one. Can't find it anywhere and I always try and stock up. It's just great. So I'm gonna put a bit of that in there. Cupid mayo. Tomato sauce. Sounds great. Starts to look a lot like a burger sauce. Perfect. All right, that's our sauce done. Now I have my buns prepared here. Lettuce, great. And with the beef, what you wanna do with the patties, just cook the patties on high heat, spray with a little bit of oil, cook for around two minutes per side. Then when that's done, put a bit of raw onion on top and then a bit of cheese. Put a lid on that so it steams it and melts the cheese. When that's done, set it aside. Then in a separate pan, I'm gonna try and caramelize onions. The way I'm gonna do this is just with a little bit of butter in the pan, diced onions in there, a little bit of oil. Then I actually put a little bit of stevia because usually meant to put sugar in there, but I'm gonna try it with stevia and that is gonna be the onions for our animal fries. So beef is done. See how well that cheese melts? I think just because it's processed as shit, but usually the other cheese is a bit more, it's just a bit tougher, a bit more rubbery, harder to melt. But that goes really nice. Special sauce here. You go straight over. Fries are pretty much done. Ooh, and this is actually quite close to In-N-Out because they ha make their fries from fresh potatoes as well, which I do, I do like. All right, now it depends how filthy you want to get with these. Because I want to go all out, I'm just going to go all out. So I'm going to put my, actually what do we go, sauce first? Let's go sauce first. Same burger sauce. Onions. And then we have to put another slice of cheese. If I thought about this, I probably wouldn't do three slices. I would have just done one on the burgers, but you know what? That's fine. Slice of cheese. Let that melt. Our final KFC chips. We need our secret ingredient. Chicken shell. So. 
There we have it, the KFC four tenders with a large fries. Quick taste test. Chicken. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. That's actually so good. Holy that's God. really close. I had my doubts about that when I had all the spices, but that's really good. What'd you put in it? How many? 11. Wow. Those secret herbs and spices that are now not so secret. That's great. Mmm. <laughs> Try these fries. That's great. Did you have animal fries when you were in the States? No. Oh, damn it. You got nothing to compare it to. Oh, yes, well. I did. Oh, you did? No. Oh, damn it. Try this. Just get a fork full of I just like all of this. Oh my god, loaded fries? I, yeah, loaded fries, but in and out. That's bang on. So good. Mm hmm. You like? I <clears> love it. So like, nice. So, really. It's the sauce that makes it though. It is. And the onions and the cheese. It's just, it's all heaven. That is not too bad. You can eat this when you're dieting and it'll be perfectly fine. Like it's quite low calorie. Yum. So good. Mm. So that is it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Try these meals. I genuinely think they will change the game and make your life so much easier when dieting. Um, and I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna finish this. This will be mine. So that is it for me guys. Um, and you guys know what to do. Yeah. Yeah.